There's a condition called transposition of great vessels. What does that mean? Well, transposition of the great vessels is, another, is a congenital heart uh, problem in which the two large arteries that come out of the heart are connected to the opposite pumping chambers from the pumping chambers that Mother Nature uh, intended them to be connected to. So what this means is that the right lower pumping chamber pumps the blood to the main circulation, and the left lower pumping chamber pumps the blood to the lungs. But wait a minute, how do we get these things to communicate? If it goes to one side and the other, you can't live, can you? Well, babies with, the tri uh, with tr uh, transposition of the great vessels um, uh, are generally quite ill at the time of birth. Um, they're, in the first few hours of life, they may be okay, but the reason why they're okay is because they have persistence of areas inside and outside the heart where the pink blood can mix with the blue blood, and this is what allows them to be okay. Uh, but these are temporary connections which um, will not sustain the baby in the long run. So all babies with transposition of the great vessels require some intervention. Generally, it's surgery, and it usually needs to be done right around the time of birth. What would be that kind of surgery? What could you do to keep this kid at least stable to maybe do a bigger surgery? Well, if the baby is uh, unstable around the time of birth, uh, or surgery needs to be delayed, act, act, actual open surgery needs to be delayed for any reason, then generally we would create a hole in the wall between the upper chambers of the heart, and this is done by the pediatric cardiologist, usually done at the bedside in the neonatal intensive care unit, where they pass a balloon up through the belly button or through the, one of the blood vessels of the leg, and they pass it up, deflated up into the left upper chamber of the heart, blow up the balloon and pull it into the right upper chamber, and this creates a, a good sized hole in the wall between the upper chambers of the heart and allows the blue blood to mix with the pink blood. So it buys time to you can do something more corrective. Yeah, that, that, that's correct. And traditionally in the past, surgery for transposition of the great vessels, especially if it's so-called simple transposition, which means there's nothing else wrong except for the transposition itself, and this is the majority of babies with transposition. Uh, in the past, that surgery was generally delayed until three to six months of age. But for about approximately the last 15 years or so, um, we've had a different surgical approach to transposition that allows us to correct the problem, and generally that correction is done in the first week of life. Do you actually reverse the connections, or you make little tunnels? Well, how do you approach that problem? Well, the history of surgery for transposition of the great vessels is interesting. From the beginning, doctors that treated these patients felt uh, that the logical solution to the problem was moving those arteries back where they belong. Uh, and the tricky part of that was not moving the arteries themselves, but moving the heart's blood supply, which is also reversed in transposition of the great vessels. Uh, the original operations that were designed to do that failed for a variety of different reasons. Uh, and so other operations were substituted. But for the last 10 or 15 years, we've gone back to taking those large, large arteries and putting them back and connecting them to the appropriate pumping chambers. For a name for the surgery? Yes, it's called the arterial switch or anatomic repair. So basically, you're just putting it back where God should have done it in the first place? Yes, that's correct. And uh, it, it, there are other variations that you could do. Maybe you don't have to do the whole thing. And sometimes you do something a little bit less than that? For unusual exceptions or unusual anatomy, there are many different possibilities. But generally speaking, for transposition, especially simple transposition, the best solution and the solution which we almost always use would be to put those great vessels back where they belong. Occasionally, if a passageway inside the heart is blocked, and that type of an approach is not possible, then definitive surgery may need to be delayed, a time-buying operation might need to be done, and some other uh, surgical procedures which bypass those blockages uh, can be used instead. The, the majority of patients with transposition don't have those complicated arrangements, but about one-third of them will. Okay. So in other words, it sounds like you need a, a team approach the surgeon, the pediatric cardiologist, 
other people involved because so you have to look at this and make a decision with the families involved how much surgery you do. Is that correct? That's absolutely true. And one of the things that's been found out about congenital heart surgery is that the earlier in life you make a diagnosis and formulate a plan for the child, the better the long-term results are. So if a patient starts off with one plan and then switches plans at six months of age or nine months of age or a year of age, the results in the long run are not as good as if at one or two days of age the diagnosis is made, a plan is formulated, and then that plan is carried out over a period of time. Thank you.